Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Today's Tuesday, September 15th. Hope everybody had a great day of trading in the market. Speaking of great days, we did have a good day, day trading, uh, plus 18, a little over 1800 bucks on the session. Uh, had a nice couple nice winners in Beyond Meat, uh, Amazon, Netflix were kind of our biggest winners. Uh, so good stuff. We, uh, we're streaming live this morning, and unfortunately, I usually day trade in my Tastyworks platform, but for some reason, it would not load, and so I had to improvise and switch over and, and uh, trade from Toss today. So, still did just fine. Uh, you know, Toss a few weeks ago, Toss was down for a couple of days, and and now I couldn't get Tastyworks to open. So it's always good to have a couple of brokers, although. Uh, everyone in the room said their tasty works was working just fine. So just had something to do with mine. But anyway, regardless, always good to have a backup plan. All right. So let's talk about the markets. What's happening? Looking at the S&P 500. This is SPX. Obviously uh, had this big flush down a couple weeks ago or in the last week or so. And then we've just been consolidating in this little consolidation box. And I've been talking about a lot of, a lot of uh, talking about this a lot as we start the day trading session in the mornings. But, uh, you know, coming in, really having a little bit of a short bias uh, for, for day trading, but also letting price action lead and, and talking about, you know, how this thing could really push up to the top of this consolidation box. And that's exactly what happened. Now, it started to retrace. And so we'll see if that, in fact, does follow through. But the the idea is we had this big push down. We're going to consolidate for a little bit, and then we're going to see lower prices. And I still think that's what's going to happen. So we will see. Now, if tomorrow this thing opens up and rips higher, well, then we'll reevaluate. But for now, I, I still think we have lower prices. We've got some short delta. We've got some puts. We've got some bunkers. We've got some verticals. Uh, pointing lower. So we are set up and ready for some lower prices. So we'll see what happens. So that's the S&P. Uh, what did we do today? Well, we've got a couple earnings after the market closes. And that, in fact, the market just closed about three minutes ago. Uh, first one is in FedEx. Now we did not put on a trade here, just didn't like how it's set up. But uh, the, the uh, let's see, the expected move in FedEx is 17 bucks, $17.20 to be a little bit more exact. Uh, and, and I mean, FedEx has just obviously been on this, on a tear to the upside. And, and so we'll see what the, what the earnings announcement brings. In fact, let's just go to a five minute chart and see if they are doing anything yet. And so we got a little bit of time before the announcement. It's, it's already spiking up after hours. Uh, so a lot of a lot could change here in the next few minutes as the earnings uh, announcement comes out and the conference call. But initially, as the data is coming out, we're looking having uh, looking like we're having a little bit of a spike up in price. And if we do get a spike, uh, well beyond the expected move, we'll be setting up a potential one of our post earnings trades. Uh, we'll do that probably in the day trading room live in the morning, and then push that out to our uh, alerts uh, members as well. Uh, so that's FedEx. The one that we did place a trade in is Adobe, ADBE. So in Adobe, what we did is we put on what we call our Iron Duck, which gives us no risk to the upside. In fact, regardless of how high this thing goes, we'll book a little bit of profit. And then we have a huge buffer to the downside where we can book kind of a max profit area uh, and a huge buffer to the downside. So First, uh, at first glance, Adobe is pushing higher as well, only by a little bit. It's kind of bouncing around. So we'll see what happens. But that's what we did today. Uh, that's really the only new trade that we put on in our core portfolio. Uh, like I said, we've, we're, uh, we're locked and loaded for a little bit of downside action if it comes. Looking at the, just at the list of stocks, kind of the notable stocks that we, that we follow, obviously a lot of green with the indices. Uh, let's get to the indices here. So S&P ended up about 0.66% higher, Dow pretty flat, uh, the NASDAQ up over a percent and a half, and the Russell up about a quarter percent, oil up over two and a half percent, gold pretty gold and silver pretty flat on the day, and Natty Gas up a couple percent. And then the stocks, as you can see, because the indices were up mostly green, but still a decent amount of red. I mean, look at 
Look at Citigroup and Bank of America. The banks got really hit today. Caterpillar, which has been on a huge tear, uh, got hit today down 3.2%. Uh, let's see if there's any other notable things I wanted to mention. Lyft down 5%. Um, Nicola, which is just you know kind of surrounded by headlines about potential fraud within the company. Uh, Nicola down another 8%. Uh, so it, you know, it had that big spike after GM GM came out and announced taking an 11% stake in the company, and then these fraudulent claims came out, and uh, the t the stock has just tanked. It's down about 50, per, almost 50% since that announcement, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then let's see what else. Squarespace up 7%. Uh, we've got uh, our old buddy Tesla up another 7%. So. Had a little bit of downside action after the split, but now it's ripping back to the upside. So we'll see if that continues on. So that's all we got. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll catch you tomorrow.